The military is stepping up surveillance at its rifle range in Nanaimo. Despite the risk of flying bullets, people keep sneaking onto the back of the property, using it for recreation. They're tearing down the warning signs and they're cutting through barbed wire to access the trails that run across the military property. The Department of Defense says if it doesn't stop, it's just a matter of time before somebody is hurt or even killed. CTV's Chandler Grieve has that story. He joins us now from Nanaimo with details. Chandler. Yes, Hudson, the Canadian military says it's an accident waiting to happen. Outdoor enthusiasts are ignoring warning signs and the sounds of gunfire to access trails near the Nanaimo rifle range. They say it's not only illegal, but also extremely dangerous. Rangers from the Canadian military take dead aim. Their accuracy dead on. But there is the occasional miss. And that's exactly why the military says the forest and trails behind the bullseye are closed off to the public. Our, our primary concern is with, uh, with public safety. Uh, the Nanaimo Range is a restricted access military training area where live ammunition is used. Despite the sound of live gunfire, fences and warning signs, Private citizens are venturing onto this DND property with more frequency. Hikers, mountain bikers, and ATVers are just some of the people who use the trails behind the range for recreation. Uh, we've seen an increased uh, incidence of uh, trespassing and vandalism, uh, including the removal of markers, signs, and the destruction of fencing around the, the property. Uh, all these measures are put in place to ensure public safety. Cut right up from the uh, up the ridge there. Outdoor groups say the Westwood Ridge are home to some of the oldest and best known trails in Nanaimo and the recent increase in security by the military is unwarranted. Really I think this is uh, part of Nanaimo's uh, hiking and outdoor heritage and uh, it would be a great shame to see uh, that uh, closed down. Michael says his walking groups have been using the trails near Westwood Lake for years and he can't understand why now the military has decided to start handing out fines and monitoring the area. The military says it's simply a matter of safety. Safety is the number one priority that no training is worth the loss of life or serious injury and that's why we're looking for and, and asking people to, to change their behaviors when it comes to trespassing. People would access those trails. Um... Nanaimo's Land Trust thinks both groups can find a way to utilize the property. Uh, finding some way when the range isn't being utilized how those trails could be open. If, the, if we could have that sort of communication uh, it would probably be uh, easier on the policing side. The military says they are talking to user groups but for now it's just not going to happen. It's private property where weapons are routinely fired and there is no place for recreational users. They'll continue to crack down on trespassers saying taking a ticket or a fine is a lot better than taking a bullet. Now I should add that the hiking group that I talked with today, the Island Mountain Ramblers, have stopped using those trails altogether. They say the fine simply isn't worth it. But the military is still catching plenty of groups and people on their patrols. And the frustrating part of it for the military is they say these groups know that they're trespassing, but they seem rather unfazed or unconcerned about the dangers of using the trails right next to the military's rifle range. Hudson? All right, Chandler Grieve. It makes you wonder. Chandler Grieve live in the Nama Valley Forest.